Hello and welcome to another edition of the Magenta uh, tutorial. In this tutorial uh, we'd like to focus on the file folder structure primarily for theming. This is part 3. This is also going to be on localhost as the previous two parts were. Okay, the uh, next step what we want to do is have a look at the file folder structure. Okay, this is the Magenta folder. Now there are two areas. There's the app, app area and there's the skin area. The app area is the secure area. Uh, in there you have all the uh, theme folders that contain the layouts and the template files. In the other area is the skin area. And this is the less secure area where you have the theme folder files which are um, uh, they match the folder files in the app folder and in here you have the uh, images and CSS and uh, JavaScript files and favicons and different things for each specific theme. Now let's go, I'm going to go over to the app, the secure area and I'm going to go to design and then front end Okay, and in here you have the actual packages. Here is the base package. Let me uh, try to talk about that package because that's really important. That's the base fallback package. Let's see if I have something that I could have written that would help to dis describe the base folder. The base folder, the app design front end base default folder actually, because every package should have a default folder and that's something that you have to kind of memorize but the base package is no exception it also has a default folder anyway what it does it contains all of the layout and template files necessary to support core magenta functionality so that's something that you that's a folder you definitely don't want to try not to alter and you definitely don't want to erase in the other side, in the less secure side, in the skin area, you again have the base package folder, and then you have the default folder. And uh, this one contains some CSS and some very basic JavaScript files, which uh, support core functionality. Of course, here, uh, if you make any slight slightest change to your themes, of course, you're going to have a create new CSS files, new JavaScript files, which will overwrite all these. Because these are the most lowest level, they're the base level. Okay, now let's get to the next. Let's. I have created some graphics to explain this a little bit. Okay, and these graphics will be posted on my blog posting that's relevant to this movie. So you'll find it there. If you find the movie, you're going to find these graphics. And you can download them and look at them and memorize them and kind of keep them around as a little bit of a cheat sheet. And just whenever you get lost, you can just look at them and say, oh, this is this is what's going on. <laughs> okay, excuse me. Okay, the base folder. There it is. The final fallback package interface folder. There and the default that's inside the base. Next, package. Package, interface, theme, same thing. Each one has theme folder in, in, in it. So the package, each time you create a new theme, it is wise to create a new package or interface. Interface is the old word for uh, themes, uh, for Magento, older versions of Magento. They used to call it interface, but now they've upgraded it to the word package. Now, in here you create your theme folders. Now, you Whenever you create a package folder, you always create a default folder. In the default folder, you create all, you put all your layouts, uh, layout files, and your template files. And here, you can create variations of the same theme. Uh, that'll be more clear when I switch over to the skin side. It'll be more obvious of what I'm talking about. Um, this testing, this you, this won't be in the default. Uh, install of Magento. I just created a new theme called testing and uh, created a default folder put all my layouts 
and my template files in there and uh, created a th blank theme which is actually part of uh, the default install as well of uh, Magento and uh, this is just a variation of the, the these other themes the thing is the idea is behind it is the themes should be all identical very similar but with small variations that's that's the the philosophy I think behind this uh, package interface theme setup in Magento okay that'll be more obvious in the next slide wait a second minimize this one and then I just pull up the next slide this slide you'll also find it in my blog okay this is the skin side the less secure side they say the identical folders both if you create a theme you have them both sides you have to create the identical folders with the package name and a default folder see there was a package name and a default folder package name default folder and so this will already be there the base folder will always be there with its default folder because it's the final fallback okay now here is a little bit more obvious what I was talking about here you have French German uh, blue these are all very similar themes in the French folder there may be only one single file which is a language file everything else falls back I'm going to show you now what the fallback means what I mean by fallback okay uh, just arrange this on the screen um, all right. Okay. Uh, we can go into the app design new theme. Okay, new theme. Blank. Template catalog product view. Let's say you have a shop shopping cart and you pull up the uh, view for it, and uh, the magento will go and search for the shopping cart in your theme okay this is the new theme right blink and it will look for the template folder bang right there and it will say well it's not there you never created a template folder so it will say okay that's fine it'll go into the next level so it'll go here and it'll go into the default folder remember we said default folder mandatory for every new package you create new theme package See, that's where I'm in the new theme, default, template, catalog, oh, default, missing again. Again, the template folder is missing. Let's go have another look. So, what's the next one? App, design, front end, base. Okay, it goes all the way to the base. Okay, uh, front end, base, default, template, catalog, product, view there it is it that's how the fallback system works and if, if you had removed the, that view out of the base folder which you should never do you just leave the base folder as it is if you had removed it then you'd get an exception error Magento will throw an error and say wait that we can't continue uh, creating this theme um, the, 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 the that file is missing right but the, the, the base folder you actually never want to alter Okay, that's basically it. That's just a very brief introduction uh, into this um, tutorial. And the file folder structure is going to actually be in two parts. Uh, I only have a, a window, and I only have 10 minutes, so I have to hurry a little bit. Um, one more very important thing that I've noticed when you come into the design. Oops, I've logged me out. One very important thing, which seems to be a kind of an anomaly. Okay, and to add the sign change. And I select a design, anyone, anyone that I'm not already using right now. I'll select a modern. And save. You get your design change for the specified store and the sex with another one. Please specify another date range. That's just an anomaly that hasn't been fixed. A bug that has been going on for some two years. And uh, this is, I'm going to show you how to solve it quickly. Just hit the back button. You come and select your previous one. You just click on that. 
you click there on your previous thing and that's it you're clear so you see from here you can then now switch over to the other theme and then hit save that's a anomaly that just uh, I'm not quite sure why it does that but it does and now if I check here and refresh uh, it will have switched to the uh, modern theme see then it works again and that's it okay um, okay that's it that's all we have time for in this uh, tutorial uh, like I said all those graphics will be on my blog so you can look them over I'll have put a couple of hints and tips on my blog so you can look that over and and uh, try to understand what the basic uh, setup is in Magento thanks a lot see you on the next episode bye